Hello everyone. Today we are going to see external sort merge algorithm. So learning outcome for this session is students will be able to apply external sort merge algorithm and analyze its cost. So the sorting operation is required many times in query processing. When SQL query demands the output in sorted order, for example, select star from employee ordered by name, or for efficient proce uh, query processing like join operation, we have to sort the relation first. So logical sorting can be done. So sort a relation by building an index on sort key and use that index to read the relation in sorted order. But what it does is here is in this scenario that we have to do uh, it leads to many disk accesses while reading the record which is very expensive and that is why we should go for the physical sorting. So it is desirable to order the records physically. So if the relation is fitting it into the main memory then we can use any standard sorting technique like quick sort, merge sort etc. But if the relation is bigger than main memory then we have to go for external sort merge algorithm. So sorting the relation that does not fit in main memory is called as an external sorting. So let us look at the algorithm. Now this algorithm works in two stages. In the first stage the relation will be divided as per the main memory space available and then individual part of the relation will be sorted and saved back to the disk. This is the stage number one and in second stage all the sorted runs that has been generated will be merged. So let us look at this algorithm here. So m denotes the number of blocks that we can fit into the main memory. Okay. So read the m blocks of the relation and then sort it individually and then return write the result back to the disk. So this will generate first run. Then next again read the next m blocks and so on till we have not completed the relation r. So it will generate the number of runs which will be which are sorted in sorted manner. This is the first stage. In second stage we have to bring the this runs to the main memory compare the tuples one by one and then whoever is less or greater as per the sorting required in incre increasing or decreasing order we are going to write, write down the output. So here read one block of each n files which has been generated in stage number 1 and then we have to compare that first tuple of every block and as per the requirement the value will be written back to the output. Once that tuple will be written to the output this will be deleted from the buffer then, and when the buffer will be empty we have to read the next block or next part of that run over there and we have to iterate this process till the complete relation is not read or complete run files are not read. Let us look at this with example. So before that the output of this merge set will be of course sorted relation. So output is buffered to reduce the number of disk accesses or the write operation and then since it is merging n runs it is called as an n way merge. So consider the example that we are having a file size of a file of size 5 GB or relation of 5 GB and memory size available is only 1 GB. It means that this complete 5 GB file is not going to be fit in main memory that is why we will be dividing it into the first stage as per the size of memory size. So this 5 GB file can be uh, divided into 5 parts. So take the first part which is of 1 GB, sort it and then again write back to the disk. In that manner we are going to take the next part, each part of the relation will be sorted and will be result, the result will be written back to the disk. So here 5 files are generated or we can call it as 5 runs are generated or n is equal to 5. Now in the next stage what we have to do is that this again the main memory size is 1 GB. So if we will bring all the blocks then it will fit and we are not able to write the output. So what we are doing is that from every run file that has been generated we are going to read some part. So assume that here it is 150 MB has been read from each file. So total data available is of 750 whereas 250 is blank or is available for writing the output. So this is first 150 for first 150 of every run. Then again from this first 150 data compare the first value or the first tuple of every uh, what you can say that block and whoever is less if we want it in increasing manner write it to the output. Then read the next record which has been already written that we need to delete and then go for the next record. In this way all this data will be compared and will be written. So while this writing the output it is 250 MB which if it is full, uh, full then we have to write it to the disk and then make it blank again. 
so in this way when this all five files will be blank or the buffers will be blank we have to read the next file and so on that's how we are going to merge it so consider this is a relation employee again so select star from employee ordered by name this is our query okay so how it will be executed so let us assume that we are we can fit three buffers in main memory and one tuple per buffer so first stage is that divide the relation as many buffers it can fit it in the main memory so it can fit only three buffers and one buffer contains one tuple that's why this three will be brought to the main memory sort it and again result will be written back to the disk and that's how second will be executed then the third will be sorted and in the last one two are remaining so whichever is less that we have to take into consideration and this will be written back to the result so this is how the four runs has been uh, created every run is sorted now we have to merge it so in the second stage we have to read m minus 1 input buffers and one buffer for writing the output so here m is 3 that's why we will be reading only two so now we are having four runs but all the one block of each run cannot fit so we are going to take as many we can fit so we are going to read only first two then next two and so on and once it has been merged we will go for the next two runs and next two runs and so on so here this first two will be taken now this is as we are assuming this is one buffer this is one buffer and one buffer is available for output this will be compared and result will be returned to the uh, output buffer again this is complete so this will be written back to the disk so next will be taken again this will be compared and then the result will be returned to the output so this is how we are writing it on disk so this is that first two runs are completed then we have to go for the next two since all four cannot fit we are going that by the m minus 1 factor over there so this is again comparison so this will be add merged with this comparison here so these two will be generated so from four we have uh, now we have got two merged files so again these two will be compared and then we will be getting the single sorted output so this is the stage two where we have merged it so let us look at the cost analysis over there so here br denotes the number of blocks and relation r so what we have done in the first stage all the uh, blocks has been read they have sorted and then written back to the disk that's why we will requiring total 2 into br block transfers in the merge phase what we are doing is that we are reading br divided by m blocks at a time okay so the total number of passes will be required log of br divided by m to the base of m minus 1 because every time we have seen that the runs are decreasing by factor of m minus 1 so each time we are requiring two again block transfers one for reading and one for writing except two scenarios first one is when we are getting the last sorted output in that case we are not writing uh, we are going for the dire directly the result and in second case sometimes it is required that we are not able to uh, we, it is not required to read or write the output so considering all these things the total number of block transfers will be br into 2 into log of br divided by m to the base m minus 1 that it is nothing but the number of passes into 2 plus 1 what about the sick cost so again the first uh, phase we will be requiring 2 into br divided by m times 6 over there because we are taking the m blocks at a time into the main memory and in the merge phase so assume that we are reading bb blocks at a time if it is the case then it will be d br divided by bb blocks and again that has been read and written so it will be 2 into br divided by bb sorry and that's why the total number of sick operations required will be the addition of this 2 divided by br divided by m and br divided by bb into 2 into this much cost okay so this is the cost of sick operation so of course this is a ceiling operation we are taking the next integer value so consider an example again the text relation where there are 10,000 records and 400 blocks so number of passes required will be log of 400 divided by 3 to the base of 2 so the total passes will be 8 assumption is that bb is equal to 1 so here the number of block transfers will be according to formula it will be 16 uh, 6800 plus 400 
that is total number of block transfers will be 7200 whereas sick operations will be 6668 for the student relation the number of passes will be 6 again the number of block transfers will be according to formula it will be 1400 and the number of six will be 1268 so this is how external sort merge algorithm works thank you